Okay, as you watch this, just a reminder, I knew what I was getting. This is what I ordered. Are you ready? Let me know in the comments if you would have taken a chance on this lot or if you would have just thought, no way, not messing with it, yuck. Okay, Bolo Buddies, I picked this lot up from Donatella Bottolino's YouTube auction. I went in and she was showing toys and they were new old stock toys. However, they were new old stock toys with damaged and dirty packaging, but you guys know I love a challenge. Now I do hate to clean things, so I'm not really sure what I was thinking, but I just saw toys and they were vintage and I'm like, I've got to have this lot. I did go in late, so I didn't see anything other than the pile that was just sitting there and I started to bid. And nobody was really bidding against me. And I'm like, that's weird. And then Shriker said, are you going to take them out of the packaging? And I'm like, hmm, like they must be really bad. And I'm like, well, I think I'm going to try to just clean up the packaging. So anyway, we're going to go through that box. I am going to tell you at the end of the video what I expect to make. I did take a lot of the items out of the packaging. So that's okay. It all worked out. I'm going to make great money on this lot. But what's great about this is I'm going to show you guys how you can make money even if the items packaging is not in great shape. And I think I bid it up to like 40 or 60. I can't remember, but I had her round it up to 100 and just throw in some other stuff. So let's get started. Hey, Bella Buddies. Thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. All right, here we go. I'm really curious. I'm kind of nervous. What did I buy? All right, let's look at it. a little thing and she sent me a little invoice so that's nice put that with my tax information because this is inventory that I am buying to sell for my business um, I know she said that the packaging is damaged or dirty, but I still sell stuff like that. So I'm okay with that. Am I going to get top dollar out of it? No. Is a collector going to buy it? Probably not, but I like vintage toys and I'm excited to see what's in here. Um, Legends of the Dark Knight. Again, you can see it's just dirty. I can probably clean that up some. You guys know I don't like to clean stuff up, but um, I had to have this lot. So it's by Kenner. I don't know anything about this. Um, 1996. So it is vintage. So I'm going to list everything. I'm going to pop up screen shares to show you guys how I listed everything. So that's number one. All right. Yeah, this packaging is toast. And this is probably why nobody else was bidding, but the item is protected, you know, Flash Gordon. So technically if I want, I can take it out of the package and just sell the action figure if I think that's going to scare people off or I can sell it as is. More than likely I will just wipe it down and sell it as is. This is 1996. I have no idea who Flash Gordon is, but that's what he looks like. Matchbox M1 Abrams. I don't know what that means. Uh, what is this like something you build? 1993. Not really sure if it's like a model. Oh yeah, plastic model kit. This box is completely damaged. All right. So you can see 
looks like maybe there were rubber bands on her arms. Mary Jane and Spider-Man, the wedding. So majorly, <laughs> this box is a horrible condition. Uh, Mary Jane, Marvel. Uh, oh, this is considered a Barbie, you guys. And 2005. So we'll see. We're just going to have to look these up. Again, this one's pretty bad, but if I can take, I mean, it looks like, I don't know what it is, dirt. I may be able to just wipe it down. And if I can't wipe it down, I can take it out of the packaging and list it that way. Reboot mainframe. Never heard of that. Uh, 2001. So again, I did know that the packaging was damaged and dirty. So I did know that. This is a Barbie style. This is a pink box. So I'm guessing it's probably from the 90s. Yes, 1998. These typically are bread and butter, but you never know. We'll look it up. Sparkling Bell. Again, packaging is bad, but just somebody looking for a doll. Uh, this one's not too dirty. It's more just uh, damaged. 2001 on that one. Cute. Series 2 Angel. Um, battle. Damaged Destiny Spike. I don't know if that's like a TV series. This is from 2006. There you have it. Starting lineup, 1996 edition. Again, just dirty. Kenner, 1996. Another Bar Barbie style. KB Toys on sale for $4.99 originally. 1998. So maybe I'll put those two together. We'll see how they comp out. Oh, what is happening here? Is the head supposed to pop off? Uh, maybe it is. It looks like maybe it is. Deluxe Edition X Men Mutant Superheroes. Fully posable, accessory included. I'm trying to find a date, 1996. I don't know, we'll have to look that one up. Star Wars Stick Our Treats, Haunted House. 2002. Oh, it's Vanna White, guys. Ah! Well, that's good. That's still, I think that goes to this one. So, again, the box is really not good. $19.90. Robin Hood. Sheriff of Nottingham by Kenner, 1991. Marvel Heroes Battle Dice, facts, fast action collectible figure game booster set. Don't know. 2006. Oh, the bag just broke. Stay tuned. Uh, superhero Justice League Huntress figure, 2007. Who 
here's another one of those reboot. Um, again, these pack this packaging's really bad, so I may take these out. But at least I know what it is. You know, I sell loose figures all the time. Special edition. It looks like a lot of these came from KB Toys. Masto, 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 I don't know. So we'll see. See if we can make money on packaging that's damaged or dirty. The Simpsons. Um, these go into the interactive um, sets. And if you guys have been watching my channel for a long time, you know that I picked up a huge lot of Simpsons items and I sold them for tons of money. Um, it was a super, super score. I think I have, I know they're in my what sold videos, but I had like the whole little thing and all the figures and I didn't want to mess with it. I wanted to sell it as a big lot. And my husband was like, no, you need to like, separate these into the rooms how they go so he did that for me and I made so much more money because he did that but it's world of Springfield interactive figures so this this should do pretty well I I don't remember having this figure but I could be wrong so I'm running out of room here Dollar General, $2, Transformers, it's from 2004. So even though it's from Dollar General, it's from 2004, so it might comp out okay. Whoa, look at this dude. Um, Wild Cats, Imagine Universe, look at him. Special Edition, huh packaging is really bad. Imagine if the packaging was good, you guys. Wow. This is from 1995. Never heard of this brand or this Wildcats. No clue. So, interesting. Look that up later. Spawn. Angela. Todd Toys. Looks like maybe a comic book figure or something, I think, fell out of it. I can't find a date. Let's see, 1995. So I'll have to see if... I don't notice anything. Like, the swords, they all look like they're there. Here's uh, more of these battle dice. The Tick. Again, damaged packaging, 1994. But you know, the character's fine, so. I don't know. Oh, I feel like I just listed some of these. I can't remember what they're called. Whiz Kids, it's some sort of game. So these are loose figures, but there's a whole bunch. This guy's bigger. Is he a whiz kiz too? Yeah. And I dropped a whole bag full in the thing. There's this guy. He's bigger too. So there's small ones and bigger ones. So I'm going to have to put those in another bag. This came off of the packaging of one of the items. So I can put that back on. We have another angel figure. Don't know. Series two again. And a whole bunch of these down in the bottom. So I will more than likely just lock those up. And then we have a bag of something here. doll hairbrush it looks like uh i'm 
going to kind of look here and see if I can find any tags. Uh, here's a little bird. Sometimes you can find these with a uh, Google lens. They might, if I can figure out what the brushes go to, it might help me determine um, what the clothing items are. I mean, like this looks like it could be a Barbie item. I'm not sure. There's no tag. Looks like some sort of saddle. Uh, there, this is a little comb with a moon on it. And it could just be a mixed lot. Another comb. So just some miscellaneous items. I will try to figure out what the brushes go to. Sometimes those can do well. The clothes, I don't see any tags or anything. So um, could just be items that aren't marked. So, all right, you guys, that's everything in the box. So that was $100 and we'll see how I do. Thanks for watching. All right, Bolo Buddies, are you ready for the numbers? Um, I added everything up and everything is on sale currently with the screenshots that I showed you guys. And I think it came to like $575 ish dollars. I didn't like do, I just did it real quick in my head, <laughs> like a running tally. Um, so 575, that is if everything sells for my asking price, no offers, just bam. Okay. I don't expect that to happen. I do accept best offers. So let's say worst case scenario, 400 bucks. So I would say I'm going to make anywhere between 400 and $575 on this lot. I paid a hundred dollars for it with free shipping. I did have some work in getting the stuff out of the packages, um, packages out of the packaging, but everything turned out fantastic. Super excited about this lot. I have already sold four items for, I believe it's $75. So I've almost got my money back. And now we got to make 25 more bucks and then it's all profit from there. So if you guys are looking for inventory, definitely go check out Donatella Bottolino. You can also check out her auction partner, Auctions For You. They go back and forth on each other's channels. I have purchased from both of them. I have a ton of videos on my channel um, of unboxings of stuff that I've got from them. So, But most of the time they do selling events and you're actually seeing what you're getting. Like I knew that I was getting items that were damaged, not the items, the packaging was damaged and dirty. So. I knew what to expect with this. So you usually know up front what to expect. And if they do mystery lots, you can check out some of my other videos of mystery lots I've bought from them. All right, you guys, thanks so much for being here and thanks for watching.